yeah agree i think you are giving me a great advice here because uh, i think india yeah, is yeah like india is a country like people mm-hmm. mostly focus on job but when they go to foreign country and when they come back the mindset gets changed now they want to do business absolutely, absolutely. okay so you are giving me this advice by your experience like you make a lot of videos i am hoping that you are giving me suggestions on that <laughs> no 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 not at all but and, yeah i like to share what i know or what i want to do in the future okay. so so you kind of like an intellectual person who knows a lot of stuff not at all no no no, no? not at all <laughs> no 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 uh, like <laughs> you were giving me that I... point oh, yeah i know this i know you can ask me <laughs> no 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 it is up <laughs> to you always <laughs> no no i i like i always open for people suggestion and you kind of made sense here that yeah after going abroad obviously your mindset will you know uh, get changed related to what to do in future and what kind of uh, career one should pursue so yeah it helps yeah before starting this video if you want to download this amazing application ads fluency i will provide the link in the description go and download it from my link and use my promo code indrajit10 to get 10% extra discount don't forget to use my promo code indrajit10 to get 10% extra discount Enjoy your English speaking. Hello, how are you? I am doing well, and how are you, ma'am? Yes, yes, I am also fine. And yeah. what do you do, by the way? What's your name? And I uh, don't know anything about you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Imrojit Imrojit Biswas. I am from Kolkata, and currently I am doing a job in an NGO sector. I like to listen to music, and I like to play. So you are doing job. yeah and also i run a youtube channel okay you have a youtube channel also yeah okay what do you do on this I youtube channel post english speaking conversations there and whatever i have faced earlier to learn english or just i post the solution of it okay okay so you like uh, mostly post english videos only or other than that anything else uh yeah this is based on english speaking only english videos yeah only english speaking okay since how long have you been doing this uh, i have started this channel since 2020 lockdown so there was nothing to do so i thought that i should learn a i should learn this language or i should master this language so that's why i started okay okay so like uh, in like in before covid you started this and still you are continuing with it so how is yeah, it going yeah. it is going well uh, like ups and downs is everywhere but it is going well and happy to see the result okay okay so since you said that you are from kolkata right yeah so how is the culture over there people are very welcoming and when you visit kolkata so they will offer definitely sweet because it is the very famous here very famous dessert you can say especially rasgulla and also biryani is there kolkata biryani is kind of famous because they add potato in biryani uh, by the way are you a foodie lover or are, are you a foodie <laughs> kind of but now oh. i think mostly i am looking for survival food only because i have stopped eating junk food fast food and all because it was creating lot of health health issues for me that's why mm. what about yeah, you that's true, that's true. yeah that's true that's definitely true and i i try to be sometimes vegetarian to eat veggies on mm-hmm. so that i can balance vegetarian yeah i am not i am non vegetarian but i try to be vegetarian sometimes like to make a balance of it balance okay yeah. like when did you start like having this thought that i should you know switch to vegetarian yeah. after after covid i think that not fully i am not switched fully but i try to be vegetarian sometimes because it it is really good for health i think does food make you happy food uh for a while for a while what do you think or what do you think 
that's what i'm asking is that i am a foodie so the, i am asking whether does does food make you happy uh, yeah for a while when you like i love to eat biryani mm-hmm. i i eat biryani once in a month once no. once in a month yeah okay. but i when i eat i feel good okay on that time. but yeah i am always good <laughs> so it makes but, you happy uh, yeah for that time for a while it makes my mood change definitely like the biryani has like a lot of biryani lovers they say the same it makes us happy oh. yeah so, yeah even <laughs> i am also from kolkata only like Spe- specifically i'm not from that uh, especially I mean, i'm not staying there but my parents they all belong to you know uh, west bengal so oh. we kind of shifted from there to mumbai so okay yeah occasionally okay. i visit there like in west bengal occasionally it's like when there is some relatives to meet so my cousins they live in kolkata kind of that setup oh, okay. oh. so i see yeah by the way i'm just curious to know from you Like, uh, where are you from right now? Mumbai. Mumbai, yeah. Oh, Dream City, it is called. Yeah, yeah. What is the uh, culture there? Like, what the people do for a daily routine? Could you please tell me? Mumbai. Yeah, the daily routine, or what is yeah, your daily routine? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, I think you have a little idea about Mumbai. How crowded it is, the population and all. and mm. lot of tourists they visit mumbai and they always get stuck or you know amazed by the population because every time you don't find free spaces in mumbai oh uh, yeah even you have you have seen local trains like in local the video yeah. yeah yeah i travel yeah yeah have you visited mumbai before no 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 i have traveled by local trains in kolkata Okay, okay. So you have an uh, have an idea like how it is, but in Mumbai, it's the story is completely different. When you see local train, people are literally hanging from outside. There is no space. Yeah. Oh my god. Overcrowded. But uh, there is. Overcrowded. Yeah. yeah, there are some there are some tourist spots you can find in Mumbai. For example, Marine Drive, Bandstand, amazing. Okay. Some of them are like oceanic areas. You will go, you sit uh-huh. down, chill. So Mumbai has both the beauties. Like you can chill also, and at the same time, it's kind of hectic. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, but if you're a foodie, then I would suggest you to come here and please have street food in Mumbai. It's amazing. Yeah, I have heard about that. Yeah, there are a lot of amazing street food there. Yeah, you don't know? Yeah, I have heard that. Okay. And, and Other- also, mm, one thing that what do you do except teaching? on experience okay uh, i completed my bachelor degree bachelor of education uh, a year ago in covid only i finished it and after that okay. i started taking private tuitions but my speciality was in science and english so kind of i teach oh, okay. subjects yeah science english okay. Okay. so one good, side good. of my brain is very logical and rational and one side of my brain is full of linguistic activities so i kind of oh. mixture of both So now I'm, really yeah. So now I'm with uh, working with Ace Fluency. It's a it has been amazing experience since I started working. Other than that, I'm I'm planning to pursue my masters uh, in oh. education in abroad. Let's see what happens. What about you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, if I get a chance to go abroad for job purpose, then I will definitely go there. I will not miss the chance. And by the way. Which is the country you want to go there? Ah, uh, Canada. Canada. Oh, a lot of job opportunities there. <laughs> yeah. I guess. I, well, yeah, yeah, definitely. Ah, uh, like I'm open to opportunities. Me, I'm like, ah, uh, let's see if I get some ah uh, some offer letter from some universities to study over there, then I will go for masters. And if not, yeah. then. Let's see, like if there are so many uh, teaching jobs are also available in other countries, so I can mm-hmm. go for that. Definitely, yeah. You can definitely apply for that. Yeah. yeah, that would be great. I think at least like if you don't want to live there for fifteen or twenty years, if you can spend there at least five to ten years to have uh, to gather a lot of experience, then you can. Then, then if you want, then you can come back to India and. Start your own business or own online tutoring session. 
yeah yeah agree i think you are giving me a great advice here because uh, i think india yeah, is yeah like india is because, a country like people hmm, mostly focus on job but when they go to foreign country and when they come back the mindset gets changed now they want to do business absolutely, absolutely. and also uh, besides besides tutoring you can uh, if you are willing to start a business or online business then definitely you can do because you have a lot of experience and your mindset will be changed so i think that you can do a lot of tasks or multiple tasks yeah yeah so what were you saying i can do a lot of yeah yeah a lot of tasks or you will do multiple tasks because uh, besides tutoring online it will be like flexible for you okay so you are giving me this advice by your experience like you make lot of videos i am hoping that you are giving me suggestions on that <laughs> no 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 not at all but yeah i like to share what i know or what i want to do in the future uh-huh. so so you kind of like an intellectual person who knows a lot of stuff not at all no no no, no? not at all <laughs> no 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 <laughs> like <laughs> you were giving me that I, point oh yeah i know this i know you can ask me <laughs> no 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 it is up to you always <laughs> no no i i like i always open for people suggestion and you kind of made sense here that yeah after going abroad obviously your mindset will you know uh, get changed related to what to do in future and what kind of uh, career one should pursue so yeah Absolutely. it helps yeah Absolutely. yeah so so since then you have suggested me i would ask you like what you want to do in future which would make you happy oh like i want to live a peaceful life uh, not with with a lot of money but uh, you should have a lot you should have a money a little amount or sufficient money to live your life smoothly or happily mm-hmm. i think so that stress free life i want to lead hassle free life and also i want to enjoy my life stress free life so like you are kind of do meditation and all <laughs> yeah of course of course that uh, if you do then you can get peace i think that you can you will feel stress free and also like stress free brain can work a lot of things uh, can work actively too actively so. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> stress free brain yeah kind of I also believe that if you are stress free, you can achieve anything. If your mental yeah. health is not okay, then most yeah, of the time, focus. yeah, focus, concentration, it all just you know, kind of become just bookish knowledge if you are not literally following it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, you said that uh, you were kind of you know want to live a peaceful life, stress free life. So can you give some suggestion how one can achieve that? oh i didn't get that so i can't say but yeah when i follow or when i watch the inspirational videos on youtube then i get some like what they follow i just try to not follow blindly when i i think logically then i try to apply it like you're not like, blindly following anything you question yeah definitely yeah. definitely so, anything or oh, while buying something or while the while seeing some advertisement played by the famous mm-hmm. postman or actor actress i don't i do not like get involved directly it is important i guess absolutely oh, absolutely yeah because uh, those people can impact a lot of people a lot of followers mm-hmm. people easily and so i think that i need to do a lot of research then i can get a good product like um, as as you said that you were a youtuber so in that scenario like if you were giving some information to your audience so no, it no. should be authentic absolutely absolutely yeah. otherwise you you can go with wrong or you can spread a lot of wrong information and you can get famous uh, like within a minute or within a month but it is not consistent or it is not permanent so slowly and gradually you can achieve the goal or so you can spread yeah. yeah slowly and steadily win the race i have heard that yeah yeah right right 
so like uh, yeah you kind of because it's your it's, it becomes your duty also because so mm. so many people are following you so they are going to yeah. take inspiration from you that okay this person okay. is being authentic and he's searching so many things and he's providing uh-huh. information so you kind of okay. people trust you mm. we, uh, we have made a good or strong bond so we can't break it definitely and what's your youtube channel please tell me i will also oh. subscribe yeah definitely thank you very much <laughs> my channel is iconic indra iconic indra, indra. I think it, the, it's your name, right? Indra Jit Biswas. Indra Jit, yeah. I, Indra? That's why I can't. Oh, iconic Indra. Oh. Oh. Or your, uh, your YouTube channel is very uh, catchy name. It has very catchy name. Oh, thank you so much. So can we discuss it? Nice. Bye. Bye.